In this video, I will be showing you how to configure the pins on your BeagleBone Black as GPIO pins. And for this example, I'll be controlling the LED on this board. And I will leave a link on the description below of where you can buy this board. So right now, I SSH into my BeagleBone Black, and just for reference, I'm using Debian 8.6. I also have on my left the figure of the 65 possible digital input-output pins. And to access this figure, open up the browser and type in the IP address of your BeagleBone Black. So first, let's check that there are no device tree overlays exported on our BeagleBone Black. And to check that, go ahead and output the contents of the slots file. Here you can see that I currently don't have any device tree overlays exported in, into my BeagleBone Black. And if you do have some device tree overlays exported, go ahead and unexport them. And if you don't know how to, go ahead and check out the video I made on exporting and unexporting device tree overlays. And the reason why you want to unexport uh, some device tree overlays is because some of them may be using the pins that you want to use. For example, the universal and device tree overlay uses all of the GPIO pins. So that means that if we want to control the GPIO underscore 49 while that device tree overlay is exported uh, we won't be able to do so so we want to make sure that device tree overlays that conflict with what we're doing right now are unexported also just for reference I previously set my slots variable equal to the path of my slots file which is this also the steps to configure the pins on the BeagleBone Black as GPIO pins is the same on Debian 7.11. The only difference is that uh, the location of the slots file is different. And that location is this right here. So now back on Debian 8.6. So after you unexported uh, the device tree overlays, go ahead and cd into the following directory. cd slash sys slash class slash gpio hit enter print the output of uh, this file and here you notice that there are two files export and unexport to export a pin as a gpio pin you want to write into the export file and you do that by typing in the command echo followed by the number of the gpio pin you want to export so in this case uh, my led is connected to pin 23 so i'll be exporting gpio pin 49 so type in 49 then the redirect output symbol followed by the name of the file export so export hit enter and if you type in the contents of the gpio file gpio folder again you can see that now we have a new folder gpio 49 so let's cd into that folder cd gpio 49 hit enter and now let's print the contents of this folder. Let's also do ls-l. So here you can see that these two are links, so they point to other files in the system, and this is a directory. The two files we want to focus on right now are the direction file and the value file. The direction file is the file you write to to set a pin equal to an output pin or an input pin. And the value file is the file that you write to to set a pin equal to high or low. Now let's print out the current contents of the direction file to see what direction the pin is. So we do that by typing in cat, then dot slash, this just means current directory, then direction, hit the tab key to autocomplete, hit enter. And here we can see that pin 49 is currently set as an input. And if we print out the contents of the value file, we can see that the current value of the pin is zero so low so now to make this led turn on we have to set the direction of the gpio pin 49 equal to output and the value equal to one or high and we do that by writing to the direction file and the value file so let's first write to the direction file we do that by using the command echo typing in out then the redirect output symbol and the name of the file direction hit enter so now if we print the contents of the direction file, again, we can see that it is now an output. And now to turn on the LED, we write a value of 1 to the value file. So again, echo 1, redirect output symbol, then value. Hit enter, and you can see that the LED turned on. And if we write a 0 to the value file, we should see it turn off. Now to unexport a GPIO pin, we write to the unexport file on the previous directory. 
So let's go back to the previous directory and dot dot slash just means previous directory. So hit enter. Let's print the contents of this folder and we can see that the GPIO 49 pin is there. So now to an export, we write the value of the GPIO pin we want on export. So in this case, 49. So again, do echo number 49, redirect output symbol, and then the file on export. Hit enter. And if we print out again the contents of the GPIO file, we should see that the GPIO 49 uh, folder is gone. On my next video, I will show you how to configure a pin as a GPIO pin, but in C++. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.